gorgeous sketches and I, your enthusiasm is so infectious. I'm sure that people are just gonna go straight out and pull out their watercolor paints right now. People are probably the most fascinating subject and I think most people want to be able to paint people and to put them into the, their landscapes. I mean, obviously the landscape's fine without people, but it does bring life into landscape paintings and it does bring color. So this is a typical page from one of my, this is a big sheet of paper. So it's a typical page when I'm out sitting um, somewhere painting figures. And usually I pick squares um, or piazzas or whatever in Europe and or promenades or wide spaces because what you need to do when you're painting people is you can't be too close to them. If you're too close, they're moving too fast uh, across your vision. The aim should be the movement, that they feel lively rather than static. There's something about the watercolour brush that is so lively. Nearly always I'm painting with the light behind the figures or above the figures because that means I haven't got to worry about light. I think the beauty of watercolour is, is that it's this mantra, less is more. Yeah you can do so little with watercolour and say so much and mm -hmm. I, I still find it miraculous I still it still leaves me in wonder now I mean yeah. to this day <laughs> well, it was actually the African bush that taught me to paint watercolour uh, quickly because I was painting in the bush it was very hot so it was drying fast so I had to find a technique that could work in the bush uh, to my satisfaction, uh, but the beauty of it drying fast did mean I could paint a lot. Watercolour is such a beautiful medium. It will, it will reward you. It's a way of observing life, it's a way of uh, seeing the world. Uh, and then sometimes one can get a little bit more complicated by putting, a bit more challenged, I say, rather than complicated, by putting uh, characters together. So a bit like with the groups of people, when you start putting animals together, then you're starting to make a painting. As soon as you're starting to make a story, about it, that begins the narrative of a painting.